Blessed are those that are pure at heart, for they shall see God. You are waiting to see God. You are in a time that you feel your destiny is round the corner. But I'm telling you, your heart is very important when it comes to the things of God. If you bear unforgiveness in you, if you have things that are not necessary in your heart, then your destiny will be challenged. For a time you have been waiting on something, it's not coming. For a time everything around you seems to annoy you. Well, check your heart and see. Maybe there is something that you harbor in your heart that is challenging your destiny. You are not fighting against the enemy, you are fighting against yourself. Sometimes your thoughts are the very reasons that your blessing is not coming. Some are facing a spirit of revenge. Our God is not a God of revenge. He's not blessing you to revenge. He is the one who is responsible of that part. Let him play that part. He does it better. So when it comes that you're waiting upon the Lord, your heart has to be pure. Blessed are those who are pure at heart. What are the issues that are oppressing you that you're not talking about? There are some things that you can wait upon the Lord, the Lord to tell or to share to the people that are oppressing you. But a time has come whereby there are some things you have to sit down and talk them through with the people that offend you so that your heart can remain pure. What are the things that you're hiding in your heart that keep challenging your destiny? This is the hour to let go. Who are you not forgiving? What are you not forgetting? What seems very impossible for you to overcome? It is time to you to know that it's by God's grace that he forgave you your sins. Then it's by grace that you will forgive those who sinned against you. It is not the hour to look at your past and say, if it was not my mother, if it was not my husband, if it was not my child, if it was not so and so, my life could have been better. Nobody is the reason where you are today. No one is the reason of where you are today. The only reason you are where you are today is because of you, your choices, the way you respond to offense, the way you respond to the people who offend you. You have to make the right decisions no matter what is around you, no matter what your neighbor is saying, no matter what your family is saying, no matter what your workplace is saying, you should always remain steadfast, making the right choices because your heart is the spring of your life. This is the moment that you should make the right choices. Come back to the place whereby your heart is pure. Come back to the place whereby your heart is at peace. Without peace, it is impossible to hear the Lord. Without peace, it is impossible to inherit from the Lord. What are the things that are in your heart that are not necessary? Kick them out today. And you must know that you're not fighting the enemy, but you're fighting yourself. You've been fighting against your feelings. You've been fighting against your emotions. This is the time that you should give, give God a chance. This is the time that you should say, God, I need your grace. I need your mercy. This issue is so heavy upon me. I can't forgive. I can't think straight. I can't associate with so and so. Give it to God today and your destiny will stop being challenged. Stop being the barrier of your life. Let go things that you're supposed to let go. Is it a past relationship that you can't forget? Is it a past bad Job, op job opportunity that you can't forget. Let go such things. Your life is more important. The presence of God is even more important in your life. For you to remain in the presence of God, you need to let go such things. Let go a relationship that has broken you. Let go a fellowship that has broken you. Let go that pastor that broke you. Now you can no longer even hear from the Lord. 
anything that you hear from pastors and prophets, you rebuke it because of your experiences, you will miss the true voice of God because you have failed to heal in your heart. You have rejected new opportunities, you have rejected to work with people of value because you judge according to the last point that you were heartbroken. Not everyone is like the one who broke your heart. Not everyone is here to rob you because they robbed you, because they had broke you, because they made you cry. You closed your heart. Now it's impossible for God even to send people in your life to deliver you. You cannot deliver yourself in some point in your life. You need a touch. You need somebody to lift you from that place. But unless you open your heart once again, it is hard for the Lord to reach you. God is a spirit and he needs a man. So if you are a man, you have to have a heart which is clean so that you can work with God. Do not become an enemy to God simply because you are harboring sin in your heart. God loves sinners, but he does not love sin. So he's waiting for you to heal so that he can work with you. He's waiting for you to know that there is something better. He's waiting for you to know that there is someone better. He wants you to know that there is life beyond that heartbreak. There is life beyond that tear. There is life beyond that which has failed you. So forget what was. God is doing a new thing. Can't you see it? It is coming. But your heart needs to be pure so that you can see God. Blessed are those who are pure at heart for they shall see God. Even when you're seeking God, even when you're in prayer, if your heart has issues, the Lord will be hard to be seen. So this is the time that you should put down everything that has been hindering you from hearing the Lord, from responding to, to the people God is sending to you, responding to opportunities. You are now stuck in one place because you trust nobody. Yes, trust nobody, but trust God who brings people in your life. Trust Him with your money. Trust Him with your resources. Trust Him with everything that you have. He is a God who is going to take care of everything that you have. So do not become a self-destruction weapon against yourself. Release yourself from the spirit of revenge. Release yourself from the spirit of self-centeredness. God is waiting for you and is waiting to do great and mighty things in your life. As soon as your heart heals, there is a new person for you. There is a new opportunity for you. There is a new door for you. There is a new vision for you. Let go the past visions that did not work. Let go the past ideas that did not work. God wants you to see things afresh, but for you to do this, your heart needs to be healed. So be you healed today, and you will see God in Jesus' name. Father, I pray for the viewer that they may be healed today, and that they may let go what they're supposed to let go, so that they may see you. Father, I pray a new anointing. I release that person who is watching from the bondages of unforgiveness, from the bondedness of fear. I release you now in the mighty name of Jesus. You shall come to your destiny. Nothing is going to stop you. Father, let Jesus give you that ability to forgive, ability to let go. Let my Father this servant of yours, O oh Lord, my Father, be set free to see her destiny come to pass. I bless you that is watching, and I declare that those chains have been broken. You will see God in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen.